The story begins with this girl, Chio Sakura, who musters up the courage and confesses to her crush, Nozaki, telling him that she admires him and wants to be with him and will do whatever she can. But Nozaki misunderstands her and ends up giving her his autograph and taking her to his house. He takes her to help him with his work. After helping him for a long time, she realizes that he is a mangaka of shoujo manga, which means he makes romance manga that women usually read. When she gets home, she realizes that his manga is very famous, and to Sakura's surprise, he has been observing her, but simply because he knows she is in the art club and would be a good assistant. Nozaki often bases scenes in his manga on real life, and when things get complicated, he takes suggestions and experiments to see what could work. Nozaki then tells her they can ride a bike together, but it wasn't what she imagined. Still, she ended up enjoying the experience with the boy she likes. When they were both working on the manga, despite writing romance manga, Nozaki has no experience in love. Taking advantage of the situation, she gives him another hint by telling him that she likes a boy and now spends more time with him helping him, but he is unable to understand the hints. The next day, Nozaki introduces her to his assistant Mikashiba, who is popular with girls and says daring things to them, but usually gets embarrassed afterward. And since Sakura is now also Nozaki's assistant, Mikashiba tells her that if she has any doubts, she shouldn't count on his help, but in reality, he wants to help her to get attention. While practicing, we realize that Mikashiba is terrible at doing all kinds of things. When practicing, we realize that Mikashiba is terrible at doing all kinds of drawings, but is amazing at drawing ornaments and accessories. When Nozaki and Sakura are alone, he tells her that he was inspired by Mikashiba to create a character who, by the way, is the protagonist of his manga. But now he needs more variety and wants to add another character. So, Sakura introduces him to her friend Yusaki, who is a disaster. The teachers often chase her. She unintentionally annoys everyone, ruins the basketball team, and even tricked Nozaki to avoid punishment. However, she is very good at singing. Mikashiba also introduces them to Kashima, who is even more popular with women than he is, even though she is a woman. At first, they didn't get along well, but after Kashima beat him at everything, he had no choice but to be her friend. Kashima belongs to the theater club and always causes problems, so the club president always scolds her. Later, Sakura notices some marks, and Nozaki tells her they are from the person who does the backgrounds and usually works at night. Sakura worries that it might be a woman, so she spends her time looking for that person. While searching, Kashima asks her for help with the sets. When she goes to help, she meets Hori, the club president and the official in charge of hitting Kashima. He usually doesn't act because he is quite calm, and if he participated as a secondary character, he would stand out too much for being so good. Sakura finds the same marks as before and discovers that he is Nozaki's assistant. The next day, Mikashiba plays a love video game, but is quite bad at it despite doing well in real life, if not for his shyness. So... He asks Nozaki for help, and they both start playing, but neither is good at the game. So, they call Sakura, and Nozaki asks for her help with decisions without telling her it's for a video game, and she ends up in this way. At school, Mikashiba says it's easy for him to win over girls, but Sakura tells him he only talks to them from afar. So, he goes and talks to several girls but regrets it and asks for help. Later, some guys ask him to accompany them on a group date since he is good with girls, and since they started praising him, he ends up accepting but regrets it afterward. But Nozaki offers to help him practice, so they practice seriously, and then Sakura appears and misunderstands. After everything is clarified, Sakura is determined to show Nozaki that she can be a good partner, but Nozaki turns out to be superior in many aspects. However, when playing the role of a girl, he is quite greedy, and Sakura only describes Nozaki as the ideal guy. The next day, Nozaki receives a call from his editor and rushes to clean everything up, and Sakura worries because it might be a woman, but it turned out to be this man, Ken. 
And Nozaki, when he talks to him, seems like a desperate girl because he admires him a lot and replies to his messages in less than five minutes, while other editors took up to a year to respond. His former editor, Meino, also responded quickly but usually gave suggestions, and when Nozaki used them, Meino would rub it in his face that it was his idea, which is why he didn't like him. Later, while they were walking, this girl, Miyako, Nozaki's neighbor who is also a mangaka, appears. She invites them to her house, and they talk about her editor, who is Meino, and how he makes her put raccoons in her manga and also makes weird requests and spoils things for people. Speaking of him, he ended up appearing at Miyako's house to look for something he had lost, and seeing Nozaki, he started saying that if he needed help, he didn't have to wait at Miyako's house, but Nozaki took it calmly, and to top it off, what Meino came to look for, because he had lost it, was Miyako's work. So now Sakura understands why Nozaki admires Ken so much. The next day, Sakura plays a song for Nozaki to relax, and that song is by Yusaki, who has the artist named Lorley. Later, Yusaki was dominating the male basketball team, and Wakamatsu, Nozaki's friend, was very stressed and couldn't sleep because of it. So Nozaki invited him to his house to help him with his manga. Once at Nozaki's house, he accidentally plays Yusaki's song, and Wakamatsu falls asleep. When he wakes up, he asks Nozaki to lend him the song by that lorely girl, but Nozaki hesitates because that song is by the girl who causes Wakamatsu stress. However, since Wakamatsu offers to help him in exchange for the song, Nozaki gives it to him without a problem. Wakamatsu now sleeps peacefully thanks to the song, but Yusaki continues to dominate the team, especially him. To avoid this, Wakamatsu glares at her and tries to greet her whenever he can, but it doesn't work. So he takes inspiration from one of Nozaki's manga and invites her to the school roof. But she misunderstands, and he complains because she always hits him with the ball, makes him buy things, invites him to dinner, and buys him gifts. But Nozaki realizes that she does this because she likes Wakamatsu. Finally, Wakamatsu tells her that she is a horrible person and that Lorley is better than her, and to him, she is a goddess. Normally, the girl would get nervous, but this time it was Nozaki who was nervous. Wakamatsu gives up, and instead of throwing his gloves at her, he gives them to her. Later, Nozaki sends a message asking for help to Sakura. She goes with the idea that he's sick, and she could take care of him, but she already knows Nozaki, so she brought ink for his manga. But he was actually sick and sent the message to all of them by mistake. Since Nozaki has to deliver his manga the next day, the guys help him out. However, Wakamatsu has no experience, so they treat him like a beginner in training. What he had to do was cut and paste, and none of the three had experience in that. But Wakamatsu did it right the first time, and their pride wouldn't allow Sakura and Hori to tell him he did very well. To create the dialogues, they base them on people they know to finish it. With the manga finished, Nozaki has free time and goes with Sakura to a shopping center, something like a date, but Nozaki only wanted references for his manga. He even asked Sakura to try on a costume to see how it looked on her, but she was embarrassed. So, they go to a doll store to use as a model, but Mikashiba was there. After buying a figure, Mikashiba kicked them out because they didn't appreciate figures like he did. Now that they've finished all the work, Sakura doesn't have to go to Nozaki's house anymore, but he invites her. According to her, it was because he felt the same as she did, but he only invited her because he made a lot of food and wanted to give her a gift, which was the dress from before, to take some photos of her in it. Since she didn't want to, Mikashiba ended up being his model, just to flatter him a little. The next day, Sakura asks Mikashiba to model for her art club, but he says he wouldn't do it. However, when she asks another girl, he changes his mind and ends up posing many times to be drawn, even doing Sakura's favorite pose of Nozaki working. Later, Nozaki arrives to take him away, but not until they finish drawing. Once they're comfortable, Nozaki has everyone pose for him. At school, Kashima causes mischief and Horamiya throws her backpack at her. She sees him taking notes on a manga but doesn't know it's for work. After asking many boys, she thinks Hori wants to be treated like the manga's protagonist, 
basing this on asking people involved in the manga without realizing it. She starts giving him girly things and suggesting he play the princess role. One day, when Hori is exhausted from working with Nozaki, he faints. Kashima, knowing he liked a scene from the manga, wants to carry him like a princess, but his group doesn't allow it. She thinks he could be her steed, but grabs the wrong costume and ends up dressing him as a bull. Despite everything, it wasn't such a bad idea as Hori thanks her for taking him to the nurse's office afterward. One rainy afternoon, neither of these two brought an umbrella, so they tried a very odd way to avoid getting wet, but it didn't work. They weren't as lucky as a certain attractive girl. Fortunately, Yusaki, being a good friend, gave her umbrella to Sakura. After trying many strange ways to share the umbrella, they finally find the right way. However, their enjoyment didn't last long. When they arrive at Nozaki's house, he tells her to change clothes. Since she has no other clothes, Nozaki was prepared, but she still refused. After that, they visit Mieko, who tells them she's having trouble with Meino because he keeps asking for more and more raccoons and ignores her title placements. Being very kind, she doesn't say anything, but they advise her to speak up as Meino will continue to ignore her suggestions. She calls him to do better, and he apologizes, but then Miyako apologizes instead. When trying to make raccoon art using this character, it turns out to be Meino's favorite. He asks Miyako to include it, but Sakura doesn't like the character at all. So, she changes its personality to be like Nozaki's, making it Sakura's favorite. Miyako even gives her a drawing of the character. Nozaki becomes jealous because Miyako's character is admired more than his, so he tries to swap it for several of his own characters, but she refuses to give it away. The next day, Yusaki invited Wakamatsu on a date, and he planned to stand out to embarrass her, but she just thought he was anxious about the date. They go to see a movie, and Yusaki bothers Wakamatsu by using both armrests repeatedly and laughs during a horror movie. She also makes him lose his appetite by talking about gross scenes. She plans to invite someone else next time, but Wakamatsu doesn't want anyone else to suffer, so he offers himself. Back at school, Kashima was worried because Hori told her they would do a musical, and she's terrible at singing. They ask Yusaki for help, and she ends up hearing Kashima's terrible singing. Yusaki tells her she can give up or take lessons and then give up. Their friends suggest she convince Hori to forget about musicals altogether. The next day, Yusaki invited Wakamatsu on a date, and he planned to stand out to embarrass her, but she just thought he was nervous about the date. They go to see a movie, and Yusaki annoys Wakamatsu by using both armrests repeatedly and starts laughing in the middle of a horror movie. She also makes him lose his appetite by talking about gross scenes. She plans to invite someone else next time, but Wakamatsu doesn't want anyone else to suffer, so he volunteers himself. Back at school, Kashima was worried because Hori told her they would do a musical, and she's terrible at singing. They ask Yusaki for help, and she ends up hearing Kashima's terrible singing. Yusaki tells her she can give up or take lessons and then give up, and their friends suggest she convince Hori to forget about musicals altogether. Later, an actor got injured and Hori replaces him. Kashima is happy to see Hori in the play, and they participate in a scene where they both fight. Hori has to lose, but his pride won't allow him to let Kashima win, so they replace Hori with a terrible actor. Eventually, they call Maikashiba to act, but he refuses. After some compliments, he finally agrees. Maikashiba does a great job playing the villain in the play, so Hori convinces him to rehearse with them again. However, when they go to find him, he's embarrassed to return to rehearsal. Back with the main characters, Sakura asks Hori about his relationship with Ken at the beginning. He tells her the story where he didn't like Ken at first and even acted difficult, so Ken wouldn't get too comfortable, just like Meino. But when Ken showed genuine interest in his work, Nozaki accepted him. Back at work, both felt that the manga needed a bit of surprise. So, Nozaki tries to surprise Sakura to understand how to add it to the manga. At school, he starts to bother her quite a bit with his surprises, but it wasn't all bad for Sakura because they had lunch together. Nozaki was so attentive to her that she couldn't believe it. 
So, she began to be more alert to surprises on the way home, but Nozaki just wanted to walk with her. Later, the guys end up at Nozaki's house because of the rain. Micah Shiva doesn't know that Hori helps Nozaki, and Hori doesn't want him to find out because Micah Shiva is friends with Kashima, who might tell her, and she would want to help too. The girls follow her to Nozaki's house, so everyone tries to keep them from knowing they're helping Nozaki. Since the rain didn't stop, Nozaki invites them to stay overnight. It's because he wants to get ideas for his manga, and he insists they have a guy's talk. They agree, planning to ask Nozaki how he feels about Sakura, but he falls asleep before they can ask. That's when the conversation shifts to the type Nozaki wanted to hear. The day after Valentine's Day, Sakura tells the girls that she couldn't give chocolates to Nozaki because he was busy gathering love confession references and she couldn't catch him. The girls encourage her to give them to him anyway, and when she goes to do so, she accidentally bumps into him. She tells him she wants him to eat them, so he eats one and thinks Sakura has some kind of fetish or something. Later that night, there's a fireworks festival, and the girls go. These two, Sakura and Nozaki, start standing out a lot with the girls. After wandering around a bit, they separate. Yuzaki meets Nozaki and Wakamatsu. Wakamatsu sees Yuzaki with Kashima and gets sad because he thinks Kashima is a guy and is very good for Yuzaki. That's why he thinks she's just playing with her. Hori also meets Kashima and Nozaki meets Sakura, although he doesn't recognize her at first. Once together, they have a good time during the festival. Nozaki also helps her onto a children's ride, and Sakura remembers how she fell in love with him. It was because once they were both late to school, and despite being strangers, Nozaki helped her. While enjoying the fireworks, Sakura takes advantage of the noise to tell him that she's always loved him. But just then, the fireworks end, and Nozaki approaches and tells her that he also loves festivals, apparently not having heard what Sakura said clearly. But she's happy just being with him for now. That's how the anime ends. And that's the end of the summary of this wonderful anime. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button as it helps and motivates me to keep creating more content for you. See you soon.